Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and I'm super proud to be representing one of my all-time favorite motorcycles, the Harley-Davidson FXR, and this is an extremely special FXR. This is a limited production CVO model. This is Candy Emerald Green factory original paint job. This bike is all original except for some high-performance engine work and a custom saddle cover that it has on it. We bought this bike from Seven Bikes South, a local collector who had seven of the nicest Harley Davidsons east of the river. Absolutely all of his bikes were gorgeous. Three of them were FXRs. We saved the best for last, and that's this one. The other two FXRs were previously sold in the last couple of weeks on eBay at auction. And this one is, man, I wish I could keep it. They only made 620 of these, 621 of these, excuse me. Uh, that's right from the Harley Davidson website, 621 limited production keep this in mind harley davidson stopped making the fxr in 1994 then 95 96 97 98 people were complaining that they that uh they didn't like the dynaglide chassis because it flexed too much and vibrated more than the fxr chassis because the dynaglide was made as a styling exercise just like the soft tail uh where all the frame rails were hidden the fxr is a much more rigid frame it vibrates a lot less and it was designed partially by eric buell uh, the the um, founder of the Buell Motor Company. And, of course, you know what those are. They're high-performance Harleys. So this is the best Harley chassis ever made. And this was a limited production run by the CVO group where they made 620 of them in 1991. And then in the year 2000, they made a few hundred more. So I would venture to guess that this is the lowest, one of, if not the lowest mileage, 99s left in existence as 2,193 miles. Seven Bike Sal kept this in the showroom of his glass company. Um, it was right in the front showroom of his glass company. He did not ride the bike at all in the last 10 years. He only started it, you know, once a year and uh, just kept it in the showroom and, and uh, uh, as a display piece. This particular bike um, came from the factory with the matching mag wheels front and rear, the matching rear belt pulley which it looks the same as the rim the entire front end of the bike is chrome the uh disc brake is a floating disc with a chrome caliper chrome rotor chrome front forks a bullet style headlamp special six inch risers pullback risers with everything chrome on the front end there's over five thousand dollars worth of chrome if you put this on there uh out of the harley catalog uh has the chrome factory swing arm chrome upper and lower belt guard Again, all of these items I'm telling you about came stock on the bike. The foot pegs, uh, the um, bullet, the turn signals are unique to this model only. This is the only model that came with these turn signals. Um, it's unique to this CVO FXR. One other unique feature about this bike is it came right from the factory with Fox shocks. These are made by the Fox Motor Company. If any of you guys in the motocross or Fox Motor Clothing, these were. Uh, if you look on the back, it's got their Harley logo on it. These were these were produced. And on the bottom, uh, it says Harley on the top. And on the bottom, if you come around the back, you'll see the Fox logo on there. Those are the factory original CVO, special ordered by Harley Davidson for this bike from Fox, upside down, uh, nitrogen charged shocks, and they are high performance shock as is the rest of this motorcycle. Um, the FXR frame, if you look at the front, it's a massive gusseted uh, steel uh, frame that, that has reinforced triangulated welding plates in the front, huge gusseted assembly. And then you have the triangulated uh, rear part here uh, between the shock and the engine. This is where all the rigid rigidity comes from, this triangle right here. It's one of the stiffest um, ways to build the frame is triangulated. Then there's a massive gusseted backbone on here and if you ride this back to back with a Dyna, I have a Dyna. That's my Dyna S over there. Um, the Dyna S is a fantastic motorcycle. That's the brand new version of the XLCR Cafe Racer which I have right here. Um, this, uh, this, uh, if you look at the XLCR and then the Dyna, you'll see that it's a styling exercise where they copied the 77. Well, this FXR frame flexes less, rides nicer, has less vibration, and is truly just a, a better engineered motorcycle than, than the new Dynaglide. Anybody who's a Harley uh, uh, faithful or Harley aficionado will tell you that. Um, the saddle on this bike, I have to point this out. This is a custom saddle. Uh, he had two of these made, one for his CVO uh, Road King and one for this CVO Special Edition FXR3, and it's all handmade. 
hand stitched and um this is actually i don't remember uh what type of fish but this is actually a fish hide with a fish eye i think it was um I forget the name, but I'll, I'll, I'll find out from Sal. But he paid $1,800 for two of these saddles stitched up. You'll never see another one like it. Uh, if you wanted to put the stock FXR3 cover on there to make it all cosmetically original, that's available too. But it comes with this custom $900 saddle. Uh, the paint job is absolutely spectacular. It has the gold, black and gold Harley-Davidson logo on the side. And the paint looks black. But it's actually a deep, deep, deep candy emerald green. So out in the sun, you'll see a little tint of green to match the factory Harley-Davidson CVO green flame paint job. Um, also has a chrome, came stock from the factory with a, with a chrome license plate holder. Uh, just everywhere you look on the bike is a custom piece. The engine, Paul McClintock from Bristol, Connecticut, is the best known Harley engine builder on the planet um and uh seven bike sal dropped this bike off to him and had him put a stage two engine kit on this bike which is, includes the andrews cam a cvo uh carburetor with a screaming eagle uh intake on it and a dyno jet kit the um so it's got a cam open up intake carb work and the heads were ported and polished on it and high compression pistons were installed along with the stock original exhaust, if you look at this, this was a lot of work. The stock FF, FXR3 had a, a crossover tube, uh, balancing tube that, that blocked the, the view of the engine. So they actually removed that and welded covers onto the each of the individual exhausts because it, ha it performs better without the crossover tube. And I'm not an uh, engineer, so I can't explain to you why it, it, why a high-performance engine runs better. But I can tell you this is... This is um, Besides the FXRC uh, root beer candy glide I rode the other day, this is probably the fastest 1340 I've ever ridden. It's all genuine uh, um, Harley-Davidson accessories front to back. Uh, no Chinese uh, curry aching crap on this bike. This is genuine right at a Harley CVO, and the engine has had a Stage 2 kit installed. 2,000 original miles. We got the bike. I had my boys do a full detail job on the bike front to back. They spent an entire day on it, polishing all the aluminum and chrome and top to bottom. The, even show them the bottom of the frame rails on this thing. You could you could eat off the bottom of the engine of this bike. It is absolutely a museum quality piece. The finest FXR I've ever had or sold. And I'm an FXR guy. I've been riding FXRs for the last 30 years. Um, I have the title in hand of this bike. In addition to the full front to back detail, the bike has just received full, a full day of polishing and detailing every nut and bolt on this bike. Um, we installed a brand new set of spark plugs, uh, brand new spark plug wires, drained all the fluids out of the bike front to back, brand new brake fluid, front and the brakes bled, brand new rear uh, brake fluid. The engine oil was replaced with a brand new oil filter, chrome oil filter, brand new primary chain case lube, brand new transmission lube. It didn't need it, but um, we did it anyways just so to make the bike 100% perfect and ready to roll. Um, we also uh, put a brand new battery in the motorcycle, so it's a brand new Harley-Davidson battery along with a tender lead so you can plug it into the wall when you're not riding and leave it so it'll charge. So again, two-tone candy emerald green factory flame paint job on this bike, one of 621 in the world made in 1999 what was that 18 years ago probably the nicest survivor left and uh a professionally modified stage two engine um to give it the extra performance they're a little corked up from the factory so it's just been opened up so it'll breathe better uh but just as reliable as it is stock gorgeous front to back again just to summarize at the front of the bike it's got the factory go up to the front do some close-ups for me um starting at the front of the bike the factory mag uh chrome forks Chrome axle covers, chrome triple clamps, chrome bullet headlamp, chrome risers, all chrome controls, chrome master cylinder, custom CVO mirrors, chrome levers, chrome grips, chrome gas caps, chrome gas tank cover, um, custom saddle, uh, CVO backrest, custom original turn signals, factory Fox shocks, custom factory original chrome swing arm, floating brakes, mag on the rear, that's about it, sums it up. Again, you can look all this up online and confirm what you're looking at here is, in, in fact, a true CVO limited production 
FXR. Um, fantastic machine. Good luck bidding on it. I hope it goes to a good home. Uh, we put a total of uh, $2,231 into the bike between labor and parts uh, to bring it up to 100% 2017 road ready, ready to rip uh, condition. So I wish I could keep it. This is my favorite all-time FXR. The paint job is just stunning, and the bike is set up right. So good luck bidding on the bike. A portion of the proceeds are going to the New England Motorcycle Museum, where the bike is residing now today on display. So good luck bidding on this bad boy, and God bless America.